defending champion Atenio claimed the top spot in the final four following a repeat 71-62 victory over arch-rival De La Salle last night and 81st to a basketball at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. Rookie center Angelo Cowan finished with 11 points and 10 rebounds, while 30 Ravina came off the bench for 14 points, including clutch baskets down the stretch for the Blue Eagles. A basket off a spin move by Ravina, the finals MVP last season, gave Atenio a 67-58 lead. After a missed three-point attempt by Justine Baltazer, Ravina buried a triple to make it 71-58 with 2.51 to play. It was over after that. Atenio improved to 11-2 and is assured of the number one spot and a twice-to-beat incentive in the semi-final round. The victory also handed Adamson, 10-3, the second twice-to-beat advantage in the semi-finals. The Archers, who fell to 8-5, must beat University of the Philippines, 7-6, on Wednesday to avoid the playoff for the last semi-final berth. Coming into the game, we weren't thinking about getting top seed. We focused on LaSalle, said Atenio assistant coach Sandy Aaron Pacachaga. We knew that this was going to be a tough game as they are playing well in the second round. We are happy that we got the win. The archers led by eight points twice, the last at 32 24 before the Blue Eagles used an 11 3 run to tie the score at 35 all at halftime. Atenio managed to keep the game closed despite a small front line with forward William Navarro at center because of foul troubles on Cowan and Isaac Go in the first half. In the other game, Far Eastern University solidified its Final Four bid with a 79-74 victory over National University. Fu's win forced a tie again with University of the Philippines for fourth and fifth places with similar 7-6 slates with both teams still playing their final matches. Up meets De La Salle on Wednesday. While well, Fu faces Adamson on Sunday. In case of ties, a playoff game will be played to determine the semi finalist. We are still in the hunt, said Fumenter Olsen Rosella. We still need one more win. Hopefully, we're starting to gain that momentum and get that one more win.